Hey guys, we're now going to start looking at designing for shear. Okay, so everything we've done so far has been for bending, that's with these reinforcing, but now we're going to have to start looking at designing for the shear. So the first thing we need to do is actually to develop a shear envelope. So we've got a bending envelope, this was provided to us, and we're going to see how we're going to make this um, in the next set of videos. But what we're going to do now is we need to work out the shear envelope. Now, if it's not provided, so the, this whole, the point of these, this video and perhaps the next video, we'll see how long we go, is to work out the shear envelope. Now, you may be provided a shear envelope, in which case you wouldn't even have to do this process. So I'm doing this now in case you're not provided with a shear envelope. I'm going to show you how to go from the bending moment envelope, which we have here, and we're going to develop our own shear envelope. So... There's two main theoretical concepts we're going to first go through, and then, we're going to, and then we're going to be able to solve it. So the first is, we need to know that the shear is equal to the integral of the distributed load, W. Okay, so if we integrate for X, we get WX plus A, the constant A. And we know the moment is the integral of the shear. So integrating for X, for the shear, we would get WX squared on 2 plus AX plus a second constant, B. Now, let's say we have a, a moment like this, right? We have moment against X, we have moment one and moment two. So we could have different moments at different points, which we're gonna be seeing in our case we do. For example, the G plus 0.3 Q plus earthquake one starts there and ends there, okay? So there's different values of moment at the start and end. So let's say we have that case, different moments at the start and end. At X equals zero, we can say that the moment is equal to m1. Okay, so x equals zero, the moment equals m1. And we can substitute that into this formula here for this boundary condition. So that means that substituting in for the moment, m1 would equal um, w outside of x. x in our case is now zero squared on two plus a outside of zero plus b. Solving this, we would find that b equals m1. Okay, the next boundary condition is gonna be when x equals L. So when x equals L on our diagram, 